hello friends welcome back in this video we'll see how to delete or remove a user from admin console so if you guys remember in the last video we saw how to add users to admin console by using add user dot back script file and in this video we'll see how to remove or delete a user say for example for the test purpose you have created some users and you do not want to continue with those users anymore you want to get rid of those users so in this video we'll discuss how to delete a user okay so if you will see this is the official website of uh, red hat and it says how to remove a user from jbos okay so basically the problem for example it says here i'm attempting to remove a user from jbos installation by deleting the user's entry from management user properties file of my standalone or domain profile so i'll tell you what happens when i when we add a users and how to delete that user so the resolution is like we need to delete the users from both standalone and domain profiles so don't worry i'll explain what is standalone and what is domain profiles okay and the problem is like if we delete from one of these still the user will be active so we have to delete the user from both of the profiles standalone and domain i'll show you so what we will do we'll just quickly go and add a user first let me go to the c drive if you guys do not know how to add a user please watch the video go through this video you will learn how to add a user i am not going to explain the entire process here again i will just simply go and I add a test user and then i'll delete that user i picked option a to add a user i'll just call it test user and i want to give a password so my password is whatever admin values this value is restricted i will show you want to use the password you enter okay i'll say yes i want to continue with the password and then it should not be equal to any person restricted okay yes or no i'll call it yes re-enter the password yes it says do you want to what groups do you want this user to belong to so we can also create certain groups like super user group admin group or some other roles for a particular user but for now i'll just hit enter default option it says yes i'll call it yes done so we have created a new user called test user okay so just let me restart the server and then we'll see whether we have the user ready to access the admin console or not so what happens like whenever we you add or remove a user to reflect that particular user you need to recycle the server okay so my circle server is started if you want to see you can see the server status here is started and synchronized so what i will do now i will open the admin console here so i just created a test user test user I'll put the password here. See, I'm able to log in now. Okay. Now let's see what happens when we add a user in the background. So it says if you will go through the official portal, it says there are two things. One is standalone profile and one is domain profile. Let's see what is standalone and what is domain. So if you see here, here we have something called standalone, and here is configuration. So you can see here application roles application user management groups or management user so for now i just created a management user so you will find the entry of test user here it's easier test user in the management management dash users or properties and there should be one more entry here in the management groups like there is no group to this this user belongs to no group because i simply pressed enter i did not pass any user so this is what happens when we add a user the entries are created in the management dash user dot properties and management dash groups dot properties under the standalone profile okay and then if you go to the let me go back to the portal it says domain profile so we saw what is management pro standalone profile now we'll talk about the domain profile so here is domain folder just go configuration and then same thing we added a management user not the application user so if you if you will see here you won't find the test user here it's not here 
because we added a management user let me go and see let me first go to the group or oh, sorry users so it's here test user and here it's here role because i did not define any role for the user so it's a blank role is blank for the user so you saw so you can see here that we have two things one is the standard profile one is domain profile and there are four files one is management user management group under the standalone profile and one is management user or management group under the if you see here under the configuration or under the domain okay so now so this is what we saw when we create a user what happened in the background you guys must know these things actually now if you want to delete what it says say for example you want to remove the user what we have to do is check that management users properties file for both standalone and domain profiles make sure that user does not exist so particular user should not exist in any of the profile okay so let's see one by one what happens if i delete a user from standalone and i do not delete from the domain profile so what i will do is okay so i am just going to delete the user from standalone profile management dot user just simply select and then delete control s and from same from the groups as well home control s delete now this changes want to be reflected so what you do just close your console restart your server restart because whatever changes we have made into the configuration files will not be reflected until you restart your server. Okay, if you see it, it started. Okay, good. I just copy the admin console URL here. We go to the command Windows. I'll type here. Say, I deleted the test user from from standalone. Let me verify. Yes, from ah uh, yeah from standalone profile. But my user is still there in the test user. How can it possible? Actually, we are on the latest version of EOP and we removed the entries from the standalone, so it's working fine because I still can see the entries here in the in the domain console in the domain uh, profile see here but that's still I'm not able to I have the entry here but I'm still not but I'm still not able to log in so the point is like if you want to remove a user the best way is delete the user from both of the profiles from standalone and and domain profile once you remove the entries recycle your server let me do it here restart and then re-login so you will be okay after that actually we do not have any command to delete a user test user and it says i should not be able to log in okay good not able to log in right so basically we do not have any command to remove a user from the admin console so the easiest way to remove a user is what you have to do is just go to the standalone okay let me quickly show you one more time i don't want to take much of your time but i just want to make sure that you guys fully you guys fully understand the thing so this time again a management user i'll i'll call it um, name is my user my user and password i'll give some password here sorry uh, it says have at least eight characters okay my password is weak but still it will allow me to enter the same password for example right now there is no group so i simply space and hit enter and yes okay i'll keep this window edges for now exit so just now i added one more user so just to let you know that like whenever we add a user 
it creates entries in two profile one is standalone you can see here standalone and then standalone dot management users see here is my user my new entry i just created a user called my user and i did not specify any role to this one so default is like your role is blank for this user and so here here is one entry in the standalone dot profile and one is domain profile so i'll go and i'll see here also so here also i can see my user and here in this file the role is blank so you saw right whenever we create a user it goes and creates entries into two in four files basically management user and management group under the standalone and under the domain thing now okay let me just uh, okay let me just try if i am able to log in without recycling the server if you are not able to log in then just recycle your server i am able to log in so i am good here for now so now what i will do is i will just delete the user from okay now this time i am going to delete the user from uh, from domain console first okay you guys can see the path here right next to my pointer c e a p and then domain so i am deleting the users from the from the domain profile now i am going to recycle the server so that whatever the entries i have deleted it should reflect it it won't reflect until, until we restart the server i'm just taking a bit of time but that's okay this is highly required you should fully understood understood the concept now my user is my user and i will enter the password here let me go in i'm able to log in because i just deleted the entries from the domain profile now i am going to delete the user from standalone profile as well management user so here is my user i will just delete the entry and from the groups as well control s again i have to recycle because it is prerequisite if you want the changes to be reflected you need to recycle this server i will just close the window so opening let me just log in again on the new window and this time i should not be able to log in because i deleted the entries from from both of the profiles let me put my password see i am not able to log in why now we know the reason because the user does not does not exist in any of the profile not in standalone not in domain profile so this i am not able to log in so this is the only way to remove the user from the admin console i hope you guys understood the concept here if if you guys still have any doubt just let me know in the comment section thank you for watching